Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Heart of Darkness. I apologize for the time skip, but absolutely nothing's been happening. And steamers is researched. So we're going to move on to iron steamers. Uh, I decided to bail out on Experimental Railroad. Um, well, we can pass something. Uh, good school system. Building station shipyards. Yay! Boom, boom. I'm kind of hoping that the British will do something soon. Speaking of which, you'll probably have noticed by now I have a pile of infamy. I will show you why in a moment, but... First, autosave. And cool stuff. All right. Acquire Tripoli, which is filled to 100%. I added in Acquire Tripoli to the war goals because Britain had eaten all of Tripoli. <laughs> and now, when Heart of Darkness's new ticking war system, this is going to force this over to here. Which, like I said, <laughs> should hopefully bring the war to an end, even if Britain is incompetent and does absolutely nothing. What? That was a peace sound. Oh, Austria, okay. Austria has apparently left. Really? Hey, I get some of my provinces back, guys. I wonder. Yes, I can still totally mobilize one dude. I am going to mobilize the shit out of that one dude. We should consider legislation at it, I agree. Um, so where's the one dude? I was promised a dude. I I mobilized a dude. Bullcrap. Yeah. Um speaking of which, the reason I have the Rush I have the Russian faction had them in power at least was mostly just to get uh authoritarianism, which I got before, I'm fairly certain. I better damn well have. Um let me double check. Yeah, okay, I got it. Fight it. Alright. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I said, even with the incompetent British, um, this will eventually push us here. France now wants British Madras. Well. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is Britain doing something? Britain is doing something. We have a British landing party in Albania. Uh, Madras, that's a colony, so where is it? British Kahana. Gambia, Sierra Leone. Where would Madras be? I think that should be African, but... South Atlantic. Guyana. I have no idea where Madras is. Huh. I mean, I um, for a moment here, you know, thought it was like Gibraltar, but no, that's Andalusia. Ooh. Yeah. Shoot down those Russians. Eh, right now we need all the militancy reduction we can get. And more Brits are arriving. It's a gigantic invasion! The British are coming! Ooh, and we can pass more legislation. For better health care. And slowly but surely. Filled 25%. Okay. Oh, I know exactly where Madras is. It is in Africa. I was right. It's down by Maddie. <coughs> oh, God. Uh, maybe it's down here. Or no, I'm just a fool. Mm, guess not. 
I apologize for that, though. I had to go cough. Ugh, didn't want to cough into the microphone. Okay. So, iron steamers. Yeah, alright. We can now build iron clods. Which is kind of what I will be building, I hope. Because I'm I'm going to save up points from here in, but um, I do... I'm just going to demobilize. No point in even having that. I am going to build... Mr. Discover Steamers. Ironclad. Requires naval port with level 3 or greater. Really? Wow. Those are friggin' expensive ports, I'll tell you that much. I need commerce raiders. Damn it, only level one. Hey, the Ottomans are only a civilized nation. Hey, <laughs> hey, sucks to be them. So, slowly we wait. As the... Yeah, the British are... I think the British may have managed to fail. Or maybe they didn't. Uh, acceptable. You know, I wonder if the British take, like, this region here... Could separate peace be theoretically obtained with the Ottomans to, say, complete my war goals? I suppose it's possible. And that'll start ticking against them soon enough. Excellent. That continues to tick. 15% from that. Oop. That's peace. I have those islands. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I sadly don't have anything above level 1 in naval base. But that's okay, I suppose. Um, 18 grand. Jeez. Well, I have saved up a lot of money for this. You will call me crazy, but that's okay. Also, other things I must do? Mijali idea. Booyah. Sign the Geneva Country. Booyah. Booyah. Now, everyone's slightly calmer. Um... And I think we're going to be okay. I think we'll live. First elections are starting, and one of the biggest problems is we are at a full war score. Raise the tariffs. Or a full war exhaustion. Which basically is a huge hindrance to us. I need to, uh, just kind of wait. So I'm pretty much set up for, um... With the people of their faith, there are no gods. I'm pretty much set up now. I could really use, you know, commerce raiders. Full citizenship. Alright, spent enough of that. 829, or is it still not? Oh, it's still going up. Damn. Oh god. And that time I sneezed. Jeez. Okay. Anarcho liberals, yeah, the upper house is polarized. Okay. Uh, analytic philosophy, there we go. As an added bonus, this should propel me... Oh, I'm actually already a secondary power. Never mind. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know what the, this is? Wow, that's expensive. Okay, that'll have to do. Because I want military spending. Time to stop encouraging soldiers. And increasing tensions in Aiden instead. A hue. A hue. A hue, 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 hue. 1.59 national foci. Not bad. And finally, commerce raiders. Can I please build that with just a level 1? Okay, good. Because something I know and kind of remember now, and I think I'll be okay with doing this, um, but basically, I am going to need... Like, you know, I'm a full citizenship. No, no, stop taking loans. Okay, we're stable. Okay. Oversee maintenance. Oh. Right, that actually has a cost now, doesn't it? To have stuff overseas. Okay, well, we're just gonna start paying them off, I guess. Pacifism. Let's drop that. Okay, British Fractions in power, cool. Really start cranking that out. Really crank out that cash, Oh yeah. Pay off the last loans. There. I really hate having loans as any non-important power because, typically speaking, uh, you can go bankrupt really quickly if you're not careful. So anyway, for those of you wondering about the Scramble for Africa, that will not begin until I have a 10% chance of discovering colonial negotiations. In which I have a colonial power of 221. Okay. Wow, 324 days for one of those. Alright, well... Even but a single commerce raider should at least give me some more of those. Uh, the idea I'm having is if I can get, you know, a few, every little bit of colonial power will help because I'm changing my battle plans. I'm no longer going to be colonizing here and pushing into Sokoto. I am going to be colonizing down here and pushing through Sokoto. Charterist rallies. Yeah, alright, um... The suffrage movement will probably murder me if I don't give them this, so... Let's give them that. It's still going up. Is it the war exhaustion? Yeah. Pretty huge malice to my economy. But yes, yeah, soon analytic philosophy should be finished. Still 0% chance of colonial negotiations. So, I repeat, the scramble has not begun yet. I wonder, how much are monitors? And can I build them? Requires level 3, okay. That's apparently a capital ship, then. Okay... Okay. Yes, yes, I see. Come on. 221 to 229, okay. Uh, let's just get a couple more. Spend a little bit here. 
Colonial negotiations remains at zero. I'm going to start getting a uh, steam engine now, <clears throat> because I'm still mostly RGO. Oh god. There goes the voice. Wow, everything is just going terribly this episode. Okay, cleared my throat. As I was saying... Oh good. Wow, I stopped on the dot. Anyway, as I was... Oh god, what... Okay, almost on the dot. Why the hell am I borrowing from France? Fuck, pay them off. I don't want them. Polish crisis. Alright. I guess a crisis had to happen in Poland. Oh, failed to gather any international anything, so... Gonna move that back there. What the hell is it costing me so much? Ugh. Colonial negotiations still 0%. Colonial negotiations you get a 10% chance for, even if you don't have machine guns, if a great power or a neighboring nation has it. So that means, unless there's a secondary power not bordering me who has it, then, you know, the, the, the race for Africa is not started. Or a scramble for Africa, or, or whatever you want to call it. It has not started. I'm going to turn this down to 51%. Oh, wait, I can turn that up a little. Okay. Also, one thing. Build me a guard. Because I want a military score. Since leaders count. Um... Ah. So, we still wait on colonial negotiations. No great power has it yet. And the Ottomans don't have it. So, I'm free to, uh... Stay as I am for the time being. Let's try and not do that too much now. <laughs> ah, boy, the newspapers are really starting to pile up. I should maybe use them more. Maybe. Alright, got one of the commerce traders done. Colonial negotiations, 10%. Okay, that means any day now I will have access to them. The scramble for Africa is on. Italy, it looks like, was first out of the gate. And like I said, I should be pretty, pretty much getting it any moment now. Yes, there we go. That's actually the scramble. That's it right there in the background. Colonial negotiations. Whatever happens, we have Maxim guns. They do not. Damn, not quite enough for a third. Alright, well, let's get to work. Quick, quick, bloody quick. I'm going to secure a corridor to Sokoto and try and cut the Ottomans here to make sure they can't do anything. Okay, so how does this work? If nobody competes with your expedition by then, you can skip directly to creating a protectorate. Got it. And I want to create additional navies as quickly as I can because 